everyone so today we're going to determine a number that must be added to the following expressions to make them a perfect square trinomial so we have your examples number one we have x squared plus 2x plus d so d is the unknown number number two we have p squared plus 20p plus d number three we have x squared minus 16x plus d Number 4, we have x squared plus 11x plus d. The number 5, we have m squared minus 2 over 3m plus d. Okay, let's start with number 1. We have x squared plus 2x plus d. Okay, so in the given expression, 2x is the middle term. And we all know that in a perfect square trinomial, the middle term is twice the product of the square root of the first term and then the square root of the third term. So what are we going to do is we have to equate that 2x to twice the product of the square root of the first term, square x squared, then the square root of the third term. Then multiply. Let's multiply. We have 2 times square root of x squared that is 2 2x only because square root of x squared if we're going to write that into exponential form that is x raised to 2 over the index here 2 so we have x raised to 1 or x only then times the square root of d okay then times the square root of d then equals to 2x then after that we're going to divide each term by 2x. Divide both sides by 2x to get the value of d. So we have the square root of d. Then 2x divided by 2x, that is 1. Then to remove the radical symbol, we're going to square both sides. So we have d is equal to 1. 1 is squared is 1, or 1 times 1 is 1. Therefore, to make this a perfect square trinomial, 1 should be added to this expression. So we have the given trinomial is x squared plus 2x plus 1. And if we're going to write that into uh, as a square of a binomial or yes, as a square of a binomial, that is x plus 1 squared okay let us have number two we have p squared plus 20p plus d okay so here we're going again to make use of the formula that what we did in our example number one so we have 20p equals to twice the product of the square root of the first term p squared and then the square root of the last term, square root of d. Then we have 2 times square root of p squared is p, then times square root of d, then equals to 20p. Then to get square root of d, we're going to divide both sides by 2p. Then we have here, Okay, you cancel P, 20 divided by 2, this is 10, equals 2. Then this one, cancel, because that is 1, 2P divided by 2P is 1. Then you just copy square root of D. Then after that, we're going to square both sides to get the value of D. So 10 squared is 100, then equals 2. Square root of D squared, we have D. So... The value of D here is 100. Therefore, the perfect square trinomial here is P squared plus 20P plus 100. That's it. Okay, number 3, let's say we have X squared minus 16X plus D. Okay, again. We're going to get 16x, equate that to twice the product of the square root of the first term, 
which is x squared, then the square root of the third term, square root of t. Then we have 16x equals to 2 times square root of x squared, so we have 2x, then square root of t. Again, divide both sides by 2x. So 16 divided by 2, we have 8. Then x divided by x, that is 1, or x, well, that is 1. Then you cancel 2x divided by 2x, because that is 1. Then copy square root of d. Again, you square both sides. So 8 squared, that is 64, then equals 2 square root of d squared, we have d. Therefore, the perfect square trinomial is x squared minus 16x plus 64. Next number 4. Let's say we have x squared plus 11x plus t. So, again, we have 11x equals to twice the product of the square root of the first term times the square root of the last term or the third term. So, we have the square root of d. Then, we have 11x equals to 2 square times square root of x squared. We have x. Then, square root of d. Then, divide both sides by 2x. So, here we can cancel x variable. We have 11 over 2. Then, equals 2. We can cancel 2x. Square root of d. Then, square both sides. We have 11 squared. We have 121. 2 squared, we have 4. Then equals 2 square root of d squared, we have d only. So, to make this a perfect square trinomial, so we have to add 121 over 4. Okay. My last, number 5. Let's say we have m squared minus 2 over 3m plus d. Okay. Again, the middle term, you just copy it. We have 2 over 3m. Then equate that to twice the product of the square root of the first term, m squared, and then the square root of the last term. So, we have d. Then, copy 2 over 3m equals 2. 2 times square root of m squared is m, then times square root of d. Then after that, you divide both sides by 2m. Okay, so cancel m. Uh, we, we all know the rule in dividing fractions. So this, the numerator, you will just copy that. We have 2 over 3 times the reciprocal of the denominator. Our denominator here is 2. Its reciprocal is 1 half because its denominator is 1, right? Then, equals 2 square root of d. Then, you cancel 2 because the common factor is 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. Here, we have 1 also. So, 1 times 1, we have 1. 3 times 2. 1, we have 3. Then equals to square root of d. Then after that, you square it. Square both sides. So we have 1 squared, 1. Because 1 times 1, 1. 3 squared, we have 9. Because 3 times 3, we have 9. Then equals to square root of d squared, we have d. So here, 1 over 9 must be added to make this a perfect square trinomial. So, thank you very much for watching my video. Uh, just like, subscribe, and comment if you have any comments so I can answer that. If you have questions, just comment below. I'll answer that. Thank you.